what is going on taurus it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again yes and damn deed to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of june 2019 shout out to everyone who's clicked this video what's going on to all my new subscribers what's, 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 what's up all right thank you guys so much for clicking this video all right um i am going to run through some announcements because i got a big announcement you guys um <clears throat> if you guys have been cross watching you guys might have known the reason why I have this speaker here is because I now have a Patreon. I am not ready for you guys to hop on and, um, you know, become a member over there just yet. I will announce it officially when I'm really, really ready and I'm up and running and I know how to work everything and I got everything running the way I need it to. Um, I want to give a shout out to everyone who's been supporting the page. Have it be through... Um, Amazon through the Amazon wish list. Y'all been sending a lot of amazing decks through the Amazon wish list. I just got this Zentero deck. As y'all know, we just got Game of Thrones through all the PayPal love. We were able to get this speaker. We were able to get the um the T cards. Um, just a lot of things here. And what we're gonna be doing over to over at the Patreon and what started the patreon actually you guys sent a deck over that is a little bit too sexually explicit to um go down here at uh you know youtube i ain't trying to get my page shut down or whatever as y'all can see i tried to premiere the deck but they blocked it and i don't want to get like strikes and stuff like that so that's why we're going to take some of the more ex sexually explicit and adult content over to um patreon i'm gonna have a whole new series of collective reading called the deep dark sex secrets you know what i'm saying we're going to mix that up with the tea a little bit we're going to also include um you know how we used to do the free live readings over here on youtube we're going to do like a members only live reading type of thing so there's two tiers okay so um the patreon is a monthly membership so oh my gracious excuse me you guys So for a dollar ninety, I'm sorry, for a dollar ninety nine a month, you'll be able to experience through the membership um, the live readings. So it's a member, it's a member only, and it's private. The only way you can have access to this is if you become a private member to the Scorpion Reds Tarot Collector Gatherers, you know, private membership group, okay? So you'll be able to hop on over there to get the live readings. And that is specifically for people, like, if you can't afford the full price for a full live reading and um, a full personal reading, it's basically what I'm doing right here for your monthly reading. You will be getting that on a personal level. Um... On the Patreon, you will be able to get personal readings, but it's a dollar ninety, it's a dollar ninety nine a month membership. So it's an easier way to kind of access me to be able to get personal readings, not to the full extent of a private reading, but you'll be able to get little quick, like little ten minute readings. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you can catch me and I catch on to your energy and I grab you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and it's easier to kind of get selected because it's going to be a smaller group on the membership platform and it's private that's another thing a lot of people don't feel comfortable with having their readings done publicly on youtube this is a private platform where we can talk you guys are going to be able to do i'm going to do call-in readings where you guys are going to be i'm going to have a conference line you guys are going to be able to call in i could talk to you not only will we be doing readings that way where um we'll be doing readings like that and not only I can call in, you can hear me, I can hear you, but you'll see me on camera with the cards. So it's going to it's gonna be totally interactive on a different level, you know. Um, not only that, we're going to be having a lot of just chat topics. Like some of the topics that I have on the morning slide, we're going to bring it on over to Patreon. And we're going to be discussing them where you guys can call in. And we'll just be having some adult conversation. So, um... On the four ninety nine tier, like I said, that's where we'll be doing exclusive, like adult, grown up, sexually explicit kind of material, and that's where we'll be having the late night weekend adult chats where we'll be talking about sex love and relationship topics on like a deep level. And I want the ladies, I want the men to call in, I want 
it to be very interactive and it's going to be very 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 fun and it's going to be grown and sexy most definitely and especially some of the shit that's going to be coming out with these collective readings with these sex secrets <laughs> readings we're going to be getting some callings because i want us to be able to discuss it so it's going to be a little different than youtube you guys so i'm like so excited about this um once i get everything up and running really i'm just trying to get these my personal readings done and i'm trying to get the monthlies out and then I'm going to focus on the Patreon and stuff like that. Once I announce that, I'm going to uh, post up a video and be like, it's ready. And then we're going to rock and roll like that. So I'm very excited about that. And thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Because of the amount of love and support that you guys have been given, it's pushing me to take this to the next level. To make this more interactive. And to make this a lot more fun for us. And to give us a private area where we can kind of... Because, you know, look, I feel you. Look, I don't want everything to be all out on YouTube. That is like, you know what I'm saying? So we need a, we need, we need a private domain. We need to be over at the layer, okay? So anyway, again, shout out to everyone who's been showing support. If you want to show support to the page, you can check that About tab. It has my booking information. It has my contact information on Instagram. It has my Patreon information on there as well as um, my... Uh, PayPal and my Amazon wish list or whatever if you want to show love to the page if you want to book a personal private reading what you need to do is book with me the link book and the link click that booking link that says Scorpion Rats Tarot as simply book me go ahead and select the type of reading that you want if you do not feel comfortable with getting live with me on camera for a video chat what you need to do is purchase the reading that you want as well as a $10 add on okay and it's called um, a video recap private upload so you can use that ten dollar add on to the reading that you're purchasing if you want to have a recap of the reading so if you are on camera with me but you just want me to record the reading and send you a link of the bit of, of, of the reading i will record the reading and i will have a private upload of that video to youtube and i will send you a link on whatever platform we've been communicating and if you do not want to get on camera only thing you need to do is select your platform have it be instagram or google hangouts and then you can connect with me on google hangouts using my email which is scorpion reds at gmail.com all right so send me a message letting me know only the question all right that you want to know only only let me know what you want to know don't tell me the information surrounding the question while you're asking the question okay i like going to a blind finding out what you know spirit has to say and then we can go from there okay because i don't want you guys to say oh well i just told you that so make sure that you only tell me what you want to know and not the information surrounding why you want to know it, okay? So, again, book and then link. And then we're going to have our session and we're going to go from there, all right? And, again, if you want to show support to the page, all of those links is in the description and in the About tab, all right? So, Taurus, let's get into the reading, all right? Thank you guys for listening to all of that, all right? So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Taurus. Thank you so much for all of the love and light and prosperity that's been moving through our life, Father. Thank you so much for this high elevation. We are soaring above all obstacles. We are soaring above all all past transgressions that no longer suit us father god we are just flying high we are soaring above just everything and i don't even think we even look down anymore we're looking straight ahead at just like we're just navigating ourselves we it's just like there's no looking down there's no looking back and it's like What's the point of looking down at what's beneath us? You know, it just, it, it, and what's the point of looking back when we got to pay attention to what's in front of us? It's just, we are just so focused right now, Father God. We are so determined and we just thank you so much for just this high elevation. We are just really learning how to fly right now, Father God. You know, it's still so new to us because we've been so used to walking on the ground, but we ain't, we ain't even meant to be down there no more, Father God. We are like an eagle out here. We... We are just like in the clouds of pure tranquility, peace, and in the clouds like manifesting. Like I really feel like y'all have just like been in deep prayer, been in deep manifestation. You guys have been dreaming a lot. Like I can see you guys deeply picturing in your head of 
where that new destination is, what it looks like, what it smells like, what the food tastes like, what the people look like, like what clothes you're going to have on. Like I see you guys doing a lot of visual manifestation and I want you guys to continue to visualize and bring forth you know, through your positive energy and your hard work and all of your endeavors to continue to bring in all of the miracles. I feel like, Taurus, right now you are a walking miracle and I want you to continue to walk forward in that light. Father God, please give us guidance for the sign of Taurus, Father God. Please give us more words of encouragement. Thank you for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for June for the sign of Taurus. Thank you again. Thank you again. Amen. All right. <coughs> Ow. Man, a fucking ant just bit the holy shit out of me, Slam. Bit the real shit out of me, man, when I was doing a prayer. <laughs> like, what the fuck? The fuck? motherfucking ants it's like I love the spring and the summertime but the only thing I don't like about it is the goddamn bugs like oh my gosh and I'm trying to learn how to love nature but it's just still just certain things I'm like now come on insects and bees and come on I don't know I'll be trying Jesus what is this says discernment it was in the reverse, so why your discern discernment order in the reverse? Let's see what it says. It says discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. Ooh, we was just saying you was dreaming, honey. I be dreaming. Dreaming. Hoping maybe you will be there. Saying you ain't having too much good discernment out here, honey. Look, you need to be giving some people the side. I don't be telling everybody your business. Don't be telling everybody your business. Who you telling your business? Who you telling your business to, Taurus? It's saying you ain't have too much good discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing, honey bunny. Stay true to your knowing. And keep your dreams a secret. Putting. Putting. Who are you telling your business to? Look, you see the little turtle I had on? You better move slow there, Putting. You better move slow. You better know who you, where you, where, who you was telling. I want to know who you was telling. Don't trust them. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Mm-mm. Hold on. Come on now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. All right. So I just split the deck and I see the Ace of Coins, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Hmm. I see strong new beginnings coming in for you. And I most definitely see is somebody in your environment that possibly you will particularly bored by and don't <laughs> see it for them. Should I bring them out? Yes, I should. Even though I was just splitting the deck. Ooh, yes. And you can't reject it. Uh, that crazy little tingly feeling. Hey, feel that fire. Hey, let it burn. Hey, ooh, the devil. Ooh, no, mm -mm. I'm going to keep on shuffling that. Let it burn. Let it burn. Ooh. Ooh, Taurus. And the feelings having in a part that's right, that's love. When it comes. Ooh, bitch, I see it. You better have discernment and stop telling your stupid ass family and your friends, people that you think your friends, your fucking business. Because I think for sure that somebody, look, somebody, baby, did you find somebody that you like, that you, you found somebody that you could possibly have a solid new beginning with? 
hand in hand like y'all are both grabbing this pinnacle together Ooh, it says somebody always get hurt. Possibly this one, this one that's been sitting under the tree. I feel like y'all been dealing with somebody, you guys, that you were bored with. You were unsatisfied. I feel like time and time and time and time and time over. You see how many times you try to offer yourself to this person and this person don't really want commitment on the level that you really want it and I feel like you've put in a lot of time with this person and this person is this is my narcissist card you know what I'm saying someone is not even paying attention to anything unless it's something that they can self-consume they're not giving anything to anybody they're just sitting there completely unaware and drunk you know what I'm saying this is someone who could possibly have substance abuse issues and things like this but this is who you've been dealing with someone that is so consumed with their own problems their own issues what their wants their needs is that they're not paying attention to what that you were offering to them let alone are they even trying to give anything to you so this is someone offering something to you but it's a possibility that they're rejecting it or they just gonna take what they want and they ain't going to give you shit back in return. And I feel like that you found somebody that's better than that, honey. You need to keep your secrets to yourself. You need to keep your secrets to yourself because I feel like some of you guys might be moving a little. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You might got your foot in one door and your uh, uh, one foot in the door and one, one trying to get out the door. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't think y'all necessarily pulled y'all foot out of the door with this one. Because I feel like y'all have been just waiting for a long time for this person to be aware and pay attention to you. And just offer something to you. But you're bored with the situation. I feel like you're tired of waiting on this person. Mm-hmm. This is someone that you always seem to go back to. And I think it's because of your kids. This is the Queen of Swords. It's like you want to be crowned. You want to move forward in your destiny. It's just like you know what you deserve. And like Spirit is giving it to you. I feel like Spirit is giving it to you in the form of a new beginning. But it's just like. If you're bored by this person, if there's really no emotional fulfillment, no satisfaction because this person is so self-consumed because they're not even aware of your personal needs and desires. And I think this person has substance abuse issues and they're not necessarily a good role model for your children. And I feel like you're a child, you have a baby. And it's like you really don't want to raise your child around that but it's like i don't feel like you know how to move away even though other like people are trying to help you get away from this emotional turbulence but it's just like in your mind mentally you know you need to move away but it's like you just keep it keeps directing you to go back but i feel like right now you are using your discernment about this situation the Queen of Swords and in the Queen of Wands. And you're beautiful. You're smart and you're beautiful. You know what you're doing. You know that you deserve better. And it's like I'm not about to let people just push me. You go from the Six of Swords in reverse Feeling like you can't leave and you want to go back to someone that you know was a lush. And they're self-consumed. But at the same time, it's like you want out of this mental prison with this person. You're like, I'm not going to let somebody just push me in a, a watery prison, a watery grave or some shit like that. Like what, a watery grave? Yeah. You feel like this person has some type of, like, this person has some type of manipulation and control over you. 
or it's the discernment. I do feel like I don't see the new love though, but it was just the song and the energy that I was feeling just off of those two cards. I feel like that you guys, you guys might need to have discernment about if you're trying to move away from this person and you find a solid new beginning with someone else that got a new desire burning in you, then you need to have discernment and be discreet about who it is that you're telling this information to because as you're running your mouth as quick as it is running running out your mouth, it's running out of somebody else's mouth. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they go right and go tell this person. And it's like, what's the point of... I hate people that it's like when you're there and you're offering, 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 they're not aware of you. They're not paying you attention. They're rejecting you. They're bored with your offer and everything like that. But as soon as they feel a threat of somebody else in the picture, now they want to wake up and they're like, hold on. Where you going? What's going on? Like, I'm good now. What's no, 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 no. Don't go nowhere. Come back. Like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I need y'all to have discernment about that too. Because if they were bored and they wasn't paying attention to you. And they weren't alert and aware and attentive to your needs and your desires and your emotional wants. Then like keep that same energy when I leave. Like don't ask. Don't don't play mind games with you. Like this is, this is somebody that. There's some type of mental control that is present there why they can't you know what i'm saying why they can't leave or why they want to go back you know what i'm saying but it's like you're smart and you're beautiful you're action oriented i feel like this person is is probably very very good in, in, in regards to business and career i don't see a lot of pinnacles out here other than that you have a brand new beginning but i'm hoping it's not a brand new beginning to you going no, that, 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 that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. I feel like you have a new beginning. And you're trying to get away from this person. But mentally you don't know how to get away. Spirit is crowning you. Spirit is crowning you. With insight and intuition. And a deeper sense of knowledge where you can make a, a solid judgment on somebody yourself where you ain't you don't really need to go to nobody else to get no advice about it like you know you trust your own advice i feel like you're being crowned you know where it's like you're almost an expert in that not only that but spirit is also you know not only are they giving you foresight it, they're, they're giving you intuition and foresight do you see what I'm saying? Intuition and foresight. If y'all can follow what I'm saying. Okay, there we go. Good. Good. And it's like, do you see this person is being coerced into like a mental prison? And there goes that magician in reverse. This person uses their power and their ability that they have over people for no good this is a trickster this is a schemer this is a scammer this is a con artist this is a manipulator this is an abuser so this person is like trying to coerce you and kind of push you <laughs> Where you don't even have power over your own will to like be mentally like they're trying to like use their power of manipulation to control your thoughts and your mind and to keep you blinded where you move at their will at their control. That's what this magician in the reverse is trying to accomplish. Do you understand what I'm saying? But this is a magician that really doesn't even know how to do magic like that like they, their power isn't really that strong because they haven't studied it's just like they just picked up a magic wand and just said hocus pocus you know what i'm saying 
but it is a magic wand and they do have some abilities but they don't know how to use it but they know how to use it with you for some reason they know how to use it with you and you know that they know how to and, and you're aware of that and you're aware of that and that's why it's like you're you you're fighting and you're rejecting and you're trying to release yourself from allowing this person to have this control over you. Do you see what I'm saying? This going to go a little different because I need to find out what the hell is going on. I need to find out what's going on. This is it one of the new decks that I just got. Um, it was sent to me yesterday, as a matter of fact, um, through one of the supporters on um, through Amazon. So shout out to all of you guys that's been sending support to the page because when it comes down to these clarifications and stuff like that, every deck has a different meaning, has you know looks at things totally different with a different set of just like meanings and principles. So we're going to find out what's going on with that Ace of Pentacles. Give me guidance in regards to this Ace of Pentacles for my Taurus for June 2019. Give me guidance in regards to this spread regarding Ace of Pentacles. We have here the Ace of Pentacles, Four of Cups, the Six of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Wands. Consciousness, celebration, yeah. Like I said, there's somebody, y'all met someone. Please clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Thank you so much. Please clarify this consciousness and celebration. In regards to this, thank you so much. Oh, some of y'all might be expecting. Some of y'all might be expecting the burden, politics, patience. Yeah, some of y'all are expecting. Y'all are going through the cycles of you know being patient, and, and you know y'all going through the cycles of childbirth right now. Yeah, and you know, it's the um, Gemini Moon. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like... And I did say, it's like mentally, you know, you just can't walk away from the situation because of this child. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's people trying to help you. They're trying to help you, like, gain some type of mental control. So, and it might be... This might be just even you you saying that the people in your atmosphere, I don't know, this might be another male role model or somebody in your life. Well, it might be a different, another man. Like I said, you definitely have a child with someone or you're expecting a child because I'm seeing someone who is expecting a child right here. Do you see this? Is this someone who is, you know, expecting a child right here? So, um, I see that. You have a brand new beginning and it might be in childbirth. You know what I'm saying? You have, you're bringing in, you're bringing in a brand new baby into this world. You have a brand new beginning in life right here. And it's possible that maybe the person that you're having this child with is a self-consumed narcissist. And they're not paying attention to you. And I feel like you're bored with the situation and you're bored with continuing to offer your cup to someone that is completely fucking ignoring you. I feel like people are helping you mentally move away from this person. Because there's nothing but emotional turbulence here. And I don't feel like you want to deal with this through this pregnancy. And, I f and that's why it's saying all is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. I f you guys are... Moving away. And it's possible that you guys have a secret admirer. Don't think that just because a woman isn't pregnant that somebody won't try to holler at her. Some men think that that is the most 
beautiful time in a woman's life you know what i'm saying and it's unfortunate there are a lot of women that go through pregnancies alone and god forbid i'm hoping that there's nobody going through that but that man there's a lot of people shit i went through my look i went through my whole pregnancy single you know what i'm saying with, when i was pregnant with my son you know what i'm saying because i knew better and I know I I knew better, and I knew I deserved more. It, it didn't matter, you know what I'm saying? I was just patient because I know that God was going to bless me, and that everything will be okay. This too shall pass, right? This too shall pass. Listen, was all about politics. You know what I'm saying? It 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 became less about what I'm offering to somebody and what somebody is offering to me because what I am offering to the world right now I'm bringing a new creation to this world I am being patient going through these moon cycles as I'm nurturing this creation that is growing within me so I, I'm aware of this person that I'm dealing with right now I know that this person wears a mask with me I know this person is a snake I know I have to deal with them with this child. I have to deal with them with this child. And yes, I am moving away. However, huh, it's about politics. You see what I'm saying? It's about fucking politics right now. Because it's about me and my baby. And I ain't got no time to be fucking around. And I'm dead fucking ass on that shit. Because I'm feeling that shit from the pit of my motherfucking stomach. I'm feeling that from the pit of my stomach. It's about politics. It's about politics. That's why I'm saying I know what I'm doing. God show me the way. God knows. God fucking knows. God show me the way. I'm beautiful. I'm smart. And I ain't about no bullshit. I'm about that action. That's one thing you ain't never got to worry about me. I'm about that action. And I'm about my coin. And I'm about my foundation. And I'm about... I'm about making solid investments in life. You know what I'm saying? Even though I might have to politic with a snake. Trust me, I'm going to be on the winning team. <laughs> trust me, I'm going to be on the winning team. Because I'm not going to let nobody push me into no watery fucking grave. This person thinks that they're manipulating me. And that they're going to have some type of mind control. They're about to push me back. Because I feel like this is someone that you've been with before. This is someone that's trying to push you back into... The same mental trap that you were in, possibly dealing with them before. And you like, no, bitch. Huh? No, 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 no. I already know what type of tricks and schemes and shit your ass be on. I'm giving your ass the side eye, bitch. And you ain't telling this person, no, you're not. I don't even feel like you're letting this person on to the fact that you are not allowing this person to get their mental grips and just kind of. I feel like this person is trying to throw you into like a trap or some shit like that. Some type of trap. You already know it's going to be a burden. And with the celebration here, they're, they're, you know you you know that this person might be celebrating with two or three people already. You know what I'm saying? You're just the one at this current moment who's pregnant. At this current moment who's pregnant. But you have a state of consciousness about yourself. You ain't like them other little ditzy ass bitches. You ain't like them at all. At all. You had a certain state and a level of consciousness. Like I said, you smart and you beautiful. You ain't like nobody else. And I feel like this baby is the precious. Oh my God. I just, I feel it like you were so excited. You were so excited. You were so excited about this celebration of this child. I feel like, oh my God, if ain't nothing beautiful in this world, come out of this world, it's this baby, baby. You are just patient. You cannot wait. You cannot wait. The burden, the burden is the one that you got a politic with. It's not my beautiful baby. The burden is the baby's child. It's the baby father. But I ain't about to let this motherfucker burden me. Because I'm sitting over here. I'm being patient. I'm worrying about my baby. You're not about to stress me out, baby. You're not about to burden me. I promise you, you won't. I promise you that you won't. You can go to the bank with that. 
You can go to the bank. Listen. You can go to the bank with that. Okay? You will not burden. You will not bother me. You will not try to manipulate, trick, scheme. Do none of that shit. None of that shit. Listen. This is that motherfucker Seven of Swords. Yeah. That's that magician. That's that Seven of Swords. You. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's the six. That's the six of swords. You pointing at the burdens in your life. You realizing what the fuck it is to move the hell on away from it so it don't have no control. And they go that patience. That's that ten. Ten of coins, baby. You solid. I told you from the door. I told you from the door. That's that new beginning. That baby. And your conscious mind and you're celebrating and you're and you're rejoicing in this beautiful blessing. I'm so... Oh, I'm so excited. I want to see the baby. I want to see the baby. Mm. Oh, I'm so excited. Have discernment. Don't let these motherfuckers know your moves, baby. Don't let the... And y'all... And I already know y'all. Y'all not going for it. Oh, I'm getting chills. Oh, I want to see the baby. I know the baby's going to be so chaos. Oh, Guidance for my tours. Give me guidance. Oh, honey, you over that mental conflict? I told you, you ain't letting that shit bother you. Oh, love begins. Come on, come on, come on. So Oh, choosing wisely. You said, uh-uh. Let not fuckery into my domain. I will not. Now when I got this baby born in me, honey. This is, listen. Tori said, I ain't like that, that the other bitch. The other, the, the dumb one. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. Oh, base chakra. Oh, honey, I'm grounded to the motherfucker around here. I let not fuckery come into my domain. <laughs> Shit, I rebuke you in the name of motherfucking Jesus. You think you about to come around? Because I feel like this person sat there and watched this drunk imbecile fuck around and destroy other people's lives and drives other people crazy and shit. Tori says shit, not I. I knew what I was doing when I got pregnant. I wanted that motherfucking baby, okay, bitch? That was all you was, was a sperm donor. Thank you and goodbye. Bitch, please. My love begins because I'm choosing wisely and I cannot wait for my baby to get here. Fuck you. Lucky if you see me or that motherfucking baby. Fuck you. No, and I'm not even trying to say that like that. But I'm dead ass serious. Like, I'm the way what I'm getting here is like, Tori, you better be lucky if you even see this motherfucking baby or Taurus, bitch. You a border. <laughs> you a burden. Taurus is aware. Awareness. Okay? Okay? It, hold on. In my uh, Funky Dineva voice, awareness, okay? Funky Dineva, awareness. <laughs> I can't even, awareness. <laughs> All I see is ones. Ones. Bitch, I cannot with y'all. I cannot. Three ones, come on now. Celebration, yes. Number seven, all right? Withdrawal, contemplation, spiritual analysis, knowledge. Love begins. Number two, duality, intuition, support. Okay? Cooperation. You said I don't need nobody co cooperation. Uh listen, you ain't got you ain't about to stress me. I got too much good shit going on in my life right now. I <laughs> huh. I wish I knew it would. Discernment. Look, if it ain't one motherfucking thing I got is I got good ass discernment. Side eye in the fuck out of y'all niggas. If you don't get the hell on, go try that shit with another bitch. I'm not the one. You gonna learn today, Taurus ain't the motherfucker. Come on, so bitch, I fuck with you. Girl, call me. Call me. <laughs> call me. Inbox me, Taurus. Hey. Shit, P, you know what it do. They say, eat your fucking vegetables. Now, you know you pregnant. Eat your vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. Feed your baby the best thing. P, I'll buy you a salad. Come on now. Come on. 
Don't. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some alone time. And you know why. I get that. Hey, I keep it juicy, juicy. Hey. Hey. If you can see it on the front, if you can see it from the back. Okay, I'm sorry. They told me to don't, don't shuffle that. Then it says, whatever you are about to do. This is whatever you were thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. Whatever you about to do, put in. What the fuck was you about to do? Because I was about to jam out, but now I'm not uh, about to jam no more. And then over here it says you are loved. You are here for a reason, don't fuck it up. You're in this point in your life for a reason. Like, don't fuck it up. I really I really want to tell you to have discernment and pay attention to what you're giving your energy to. You're pregnant. Eat good vegetables. Don't talk to no one. Don't look at anyone. I want to say don't talk to no one about what the fuck you're thinking. Don't, don't go and look at no one. Oh, stop obsessing. I thought that that's what it that meant. It said stop obsessing. You're not the center of the, you're not the fucking center of the universe. I don't, I don't want to take this back. I don't take the back. I just want to say stop obsessing. Don't look at anyone. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. I feel like if you look in, I feel like if there is a Taurus, have discernment. Pay attention to your body. Pay attention to your body. Eat your vegetables. Eat right. Drink enough water. Stop obsessing about this magician in the reverse. Do you understand what I'm saying? You already know that that sneaky motherfucker ain't shit. And you seen how this motherfucker did persons before you several times over. You done seen how this person done fucked over several people. You understand what I'm saying? However, you are love. And whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Right now is not the time. You pregnant. Right now is not the time. Focus on the money. Make it rain on these hoes. You smart. You calculated. You don't have time for that. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Zala. Dollar bill, y'all. Choose wisely. And right above that, celebrate and stay in your place of consciousness. And then the cards above that is the fact that you're fucking the queen. You're the queen of mental ability, smart, tactful, resourceful action. Beauty, grace, movement, vitality. And both sets of intuition. Alright? Honey, let me tell you something. You better do the motherfucking thing. I do feel like because of the music, I do feel like though, like whoever this person is that you, you, you've been through shit with this person several times over. You have been, you've been through shit with this person several times over. But you're not about to keep letting nobody play with you, though. No matter what you're celebrating. And you're in a state of just level-minded and, and consciousness. Whatever you're thinking about. Spirit is saying to have discernment. Think about that shit. It's certain things is not worth it. You're different. Don't be like them bitches. Don't be like them bitches. Mm-mm. Awareness. <laughs> number one, you focused on number one, awareness. Please give Taurus guidance. Your overruns. If you just let me. If you just let me. Come on, stop. 
Give me guidance for my Taurus. P P P P. Pop pussy, pop pussy, pop pussy. Yeah. Seven of coins. Eight of swords. You better get the fuck one out that mental prison. You said, bitch, I try. What? No. Pop pussy, pop pussy, pop pussy. Come on, pop, 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 pop. Ace of coins. Come on, mama. The King of Cups. Mm, why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? That's who it is. <laughs> Cancer. Pisces. Scorpio. Are you dealing with a Cancer? A Pisces. Or a Scorpio. Are you Taurus? Knight of Coins. Okay, hold on. You Listen, I told you the money coming in. I told you. Wait for that money to come. Taking a long ass time. Shit. The nine of, but you said I'm good on my fucking own. I got money. I got money. Now this shit. I was just confused. I just couldn't see what the fuck I was doing. Strength. Empress. Yep, you're definitely pregnant. Most fucking definitely pregnant. Mm-hmm. Shit. Most definitely pregnant. So, I feel like right now you guys are just patient and you guys are waiting. Um, a seed has been sown and a seed is growing. You're waiting for all of your fruits to come in. So, I feel like you guys might be waiting for all of the labor that you've been putting in to pay off. Or you guys might be waiting because you are in labor, you know. So, um... Yeah. You guys might be in labor and you guys are expecting the birth or to harvest the fruits of everything that has been sown. If it does that make sense? Or you guys might or you guys are expecting to go into labor or to harvest the fruits of whatever seeds was planted. You see what I'm saying? So you guys are waiting. You guys are tending to your land. You guys are feeding your environment. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying it's like you're waiting. You know what I'm saying? Patient. You're waiting. Ooh. Oh, yeah, seven. Yeah, the same thing. You're waiting. I told you, yes. You're waiting. That's why they're telling you to eat your vegetables. Wow. Yeah. You about to give birth. And you don't have time to be thinking about this bullshit. You don't have time for this shit. This shit is not beneficial to... The creation of life that you're about to bring in here. You're not stressing yourself. You're not about to stress your baby out. You're not about to fucking do it. You're like, fuck you. I'll deal with you later. I'm, I'm focused and I'm waiting. I'm about to give birth to this baby. I'm going I'm to get your money or whatever the fuck you owe me. I'm going to get it. Don't worry about it. I'm just focusing on my new beginning right now. I got, I got a brand new mouth that I'm about to feed. And I just feel like this Taurus is so fucking excited about this shit like a so fuck girl message me girl you know who i'm talking to and i know you watch me and you know i'm talking to you don't be shocked i feel energy message me girl i ain't gonna bite you anyway <laughs> king of cups <laughs> the good old king of cups mm-hmm cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Why am I not surprised? He been uh he been busy, hasn't he, ladies? He's been busy. He's been floating through everybody's readings, hasn't he? <laughs> that motherfucker don't know how to love nobody. That motherfucker don't know how to love itself. This person doesn't know how to express emotions. This person doesn't even understand his own emotions. I'm not saying that this person is a bad person. 
but this person isn't good for you and your environment and what you are doing right now for yourself. Not indeed. Because you already know with that celebration card up there, that person always keeps several different options. Yeah, we already knew that. And that's why deep under there, that's where they choose wisely. And that's why this Taurus said, uh-uh, I'm focusing on what is important to me. I don't have time to focus on this. I'm not allowing you magician, you evil, you narcissistic, you manipulative piece of fucking shit. You're a thief. You're a robber. You're a manipulator. You're a robber of people's hearts. And you offer them nothing. If you do, it takes you so fucking long to bring it to them. That it feels like you've never even received anything at all. And just the way Taurus feel, I don't want one pinnacle. I want ten. I want ten. Alright? I don't want one pinnacle. I can give myself one pinnacle. Shit, I got nine pinnacles, my motherfucking self. What the fuck do you look like? You don't even know how to express love. You don't even know how to really be a true king of anything. You're not a man of honor. Only thing you can do, you slowly come to offer me one fucking pinnacle when I'm sitting here with nine? Did you coming over here with this magician energy, the fucking seven of goddamn swords and shit? Like, you think you're going to come over here and take advantage of my money and shit? Oh, no, because what I told you, I'm not only beautiful, bitch, but I'm smart. I'm not going to allow you to frustrate my energy at all. I'm about to have this baby, though. And that one little pinnacle you got, bitch, I'm going to take it, too. Who the fuck y'all think y'all playing with? Who y'all think y'all playing with? Guess what? Red said so. Get him, girl. Get him. Get him. What's one thing about it? We ain't fuck. Listen, we might we might have been blind for a little bit, but we ain't stupid. And when one one of your uh senses leaves, it makes other ones stronger. You think that I wasn't able? I might not be able to see, but you think I couldn't feel that this is a wooden rod versus a steel one? I might not be able to see, but bitch, I could feel and I can hear. And you sound like a motherfucking piece of manipulative liar, traitorous. Piece of shit. Don't try to come and, 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 and um sell me sand and tell me it's sugar. This person thought that you was stupid. This person thought that you would not be able to see, think, smell, hear, or feel, or taste, or nothing. This person just thought that they could just pull any fucking thing on you. And you was just going to let that shit slide. Huh. Huh. But guess what? Taurus say, bitch. Oh, yeah. I ain't that motherfucker that you done met a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. I got strength this time. I know I cut your motherfucking ass off. I'm very balanced. <laughs> I laugh at you. I'm the Empress. I'm the Empress. I'm the mother of dragons, bitch. You don't even understand the level of boss bitch that runs through my fucking veins. I think you might want to go sit your ass on down somewhere and let me have this baby in peace and get the fuck out my face. And stop coming over here with this manipulating ass bullshit before, yeah, you have some problems. And it's going to be some problems for you, for real, for real. Because, yeah, I'm aware of all you. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. No. I got what I wanted out of this situation. I just feel, I, I feel a sense of peace, of happiness, of awareness, of a state of consciousness, of everything in regards to this pregnancy and this situation. I feel discernment. I feel a lot of positive energy for Taurus in regards to this current state of where she's at. What is this here? All right. So this says soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. The soulmate that you desire, Taurus, Lord Jesus, okay. The soulmate that you desire and you've been manifesting. Remember I said Taurus has been manifesting and stuff like that? 
Was I saying something about? Uh, I think I was before all this shit came out. Um, I feel like y'all have been praying and like manifesting. I'm not tripping. I did say that. I be tripping myself out sometimes when I'm in the prayer. Some of the shit that I be saying in the prayers be coming out in the cards. Like, after the fact. I be like, I just said that. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and, transfer, and transforms all things. Soulmate transformations. What does this say? Life is a series of constant shifting shifting cycles when we resist change we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress go with the flow you will be surprised where it leads and i did say something about having discernment of like even though they might be pregnant or expecting or something like that. They might have met somebody else. Like they were single going through a pregnancy. I didn't say that shit before these pregnancy cards came out, right? I'm not tripping. I'm sorry, y'all. I just felt I, I, I'm just, just like, hold on. Didn't I say that? I feel like I'm having a deja vu moment. Okay, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Oh. Put in. Put in you all of that, girl. Oh, put in. Oh, put in. I do feel like, I feel like some of you guys have met a soulmate. It's definitely not this fuck shit. It's definitely not this King of Cups in reverse. It's not that person. No. Y'all met someone else. And that's why I said I feel like y'all are having discernment right now. It's like y'all not saying nothing. And y'all don't want everybody to know. Because it's like the last thing you want is this motherfucker. to be like, oh, so shit, is that my baby? Or No. I just met this motherfucker trying to get away from you. This motherfucker is trying to help me. Get the fuck over you so you can stop thinking that you can come over here trying to run game on me, bitch. The fuck? Punched in your fucking face. I'm sorry. I be wanting to punch this motherfucker in his face sometimes. I love me some Jon Snow. Don't don't put Jon Snow on no King of Cups in the reverse. Because this fuck shit. No. No. No, 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 no. Cause every time, every time it's some fuck shit lurking around in any of these signs, it's always who is a bro, the King of Cups in reverse. Oh, why am I not surprised, motherfucker? Soulmate again. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Like I said, you've manifested. You've called this person in. Believe this, and they will manifest physically. This is not someone that you have met yet. You have not connected with this person yet. You have not connected with this person or you just connected with this person. And this person is the one that helped you mentally get over this mental enslavement. You being trapped and bound to this shit with this king of cups. And or you're about to meet this person. Because this person is ignoring you and they're being bored by you. And the only thing you want is a new beginning. And you manifested this in Because the only thing you've been thinking about is I want a new beginning. I'm tired of this motherfucker. This is a drunk, lazy, bum ass nigga. Ain't offering me shit. And I'm tired of this hoe ass motherfucker. I am bored. You're bored. I am bored. Transformation. Okay? Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transform transforms all things. You're going to meet this person by chance. Just getting help or something. It says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life. And create unnecessary stress. That's why y'all not about to create unnecessary stress. Y'all like, no. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads you. Wow, in the in the arms of a true soulmate, even with a new bundle of joy, like you find love and growing love. Come on now, a message for you. This is from that soulmate. You don't see him near yet. He's not there yet. You're manifesting him, but he feels you. A message for you. 
I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. When I'm trying to tell you when energy is real, when you've been calling in your soulmate, and your soulmate feel you, <laughs> come on, father. Oh, okay. No, okay. Let's get let's let, let's get some message from spirits. Father, give me guidance for source in regards to how they feel about this soulmate. I will come back for you. Yeah, because Taurus is in some shit. They got to they gotta deal with this King of Cups. I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Ooh, I'm trying to tell you Taurus has met some fucking body, but they're fucking pregnant or something like that. And they got to deal with this dumbass King of Cups. And they got in there just being patient and deal with this baby. I feel like they just want to have a baby and just want to adjust to being a new mother or just, you know what I'm saying? And then they can focus. Ooh, bitch. Songs are speaking to me. Ooh, <laughs> bitch. Even though I don't show what I'm sorry for how things went between us, cause there's something going on. Cause Taurus got some shit going on right now. They can't commit themselves to it because, like, it's like how how can you like that's difficult. That is difficult, bitch. I watch this when I'm. Da -ding! Yep, that's it. Okay. Da -ding! Tell me how this person feels about Taurus, this soulmate. Ooh, Taurus. Girl, you better find you some love while you got the What? You better find you some love while you walk around juicy like Lucy. Girl. Maybe we're too different. Damn. You feel like home to me. Fuck. What? I want to be authentic. I'm no longer afraid. Come on now. I reminded constantly of you. Ooh, I feel like y'all in separation. My heart is telling me to just do it. Go do it. I'm in a much better headspace now. Fuck. I feel like y'all are in separation. I feel like, oh, fuck. It's hard. It's hard right here because it's just like. How you meet somebody and you pregnant and this person is just like the perfect one. But it's like you just dealing with so much shit. You're dealing with this jealous, narcissistic, emotional bitch made ass king of cups. And you got to move with discernment and discreet around this motherfucker. Because you never know what the fuck this bitch going to try. No. And motherfucker, we, we, we about to see his ass. We about to see that last little fucking pinnacle. That little measly ass pinnacle he was trying to offer. We about to take that in some more. So don't even worry about that. How the fuck we got nine of pinnacles. And you coming with one little bitch ass pinnacle. Get your whack ass the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, Slim. Out of here. Not when we beautiful, we smart, and we popping. Uh-uh. We straight unicorn puss over here. What we say? Unicorn puss. Splash mountain out this bitch. Pink goddamn Power Ranger. Unicorn puss. Activate. Unite. Okay, bitch? Activate. You ain't even really attracted to this goddamn King of Cups motherfucker no more. Because this, look, bullshit ain't attractive. Bullshit ain't attractive. Fuck out of here. Fuck you talking about. Give me, give me some guidance for my Taurus and love. Thank you so much. Give me guidance for my Taurus. Got me. What is this saying? Taurus is out there ready to flirt. I feel like Taurus cannot wait to drop this baby because it's just like, uh, uh, baby, I'm coming back for you. You. Wait till I drop this baby. I'm coming back for you because I feel like. Taurus was mentally confused for a second. It was like this whole time this king of this king of cups was giving them a wooden rod. And then this other person came in their life and gave them Valerian steel. Valerian steel. And it's like, I don't need eyes to feel what's real. I want the Valerian steel. Bitch, I'm coming back for you. Don't worry. Wait till I drop this baby. Uh-uh. I got my strength. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm strong. I I'm getting up out of this mental boot. Let me get the... Let me deal with this. Let me deal with this shit. Let me deal with this shit. 
because I like I like talking to you. I like flirting with you. Like I like you extending your yes. Expressing express your love. It's like you want to express your love, but I really feel like you just the level. I feel like you it might feel possibly uncomfortable a little bit, but um I feel like you want to express your love there. And y'all playful with each other like this person play. This person makes you smile a lot. I love it. Children, children are affecting your romance and your love life. This child, like your children. Healing family issues, you gotta you gotta deal with this shit with your baby father. You gotta deal with this shit with your baby father before you can jump out there with him, young. Yeah. Cause it's like I'm not even about to pull you into no bullshit. And I already know that this cause cause this King of Cups is a is a is a um insecure, emotional, fucking bitch made cry baby punk ass motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like, man, I, I don't even want this bitch ass motherfucking embarrassing me or trying to fuck up. Cause I honestly feel like it's like I mentally know I got to go back and I got to deal with this bullshit with this other motherfucker. But it's all good because God gave me my crown. I know I'm going to handle this shit. And I know I got to handle this shit. You take an action, I got to handle this shit. I'm not letting this motherfucker control me mentally no more. I'm getting out of this prison. I'm not letting this motherfucker cool horse and push me into no bullshit. Because this person thinks that they about to push you into a mental trap. Because I told you you got nine of pinnacles, bitch. Tour stay with money. Motherfucker earth sign, bitch. We stay caked up. Don't do us. Don't do us. You a manipulating piece of motherfucking shit. And you thought you was about to come back and hop into somebody's motherfucker coin bag, bitch. You can motherfucking eat a dick. I got discernment. And I already know everything ain't what it seems with you. You thought you was about to trap me with a baby no bitch i'm gonna take that little motherfucking pinnacle that your bitch ass got you better go find another vic you dumb bitch i'm sorry because now i'm mad don't play with my fucking tourists like that and i'm not even fucking playing don't 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 do that shit don't do that shit oh bitch because we on the right read this page ta-da fuck you mean fuck you mean boy Okay? And my DC Young Fly voice. Fuck you mean. I can't say how he say that shit. Okay? Q and DC Young Fly. Okay? Everybody say it with me in unison. Fuck you mean. Okay? <laughs> Fuck you mean out this bitch. Get your little rat tail ass out here. You little rat street city hoe bitch ass nigga. Listen. Ain't nobody about to be Listen, competing. Listen, whoever that king and whoever the baby father is, there's other people out there that they dealing with. They want you. It's not that they want you, but you know when you're dealing with this person, it's going to be other competition. It's going to be other motherfuckers that are going to want to compete and spar and battle with you. I ain't got time to do that shit. I leave that shit to the peasant hoes. I told you, I'm queen all day around this bitch. Queen of Sheba. Okay? Queen Pink Power Ranger puss around here. Unicorn. Splash Mountain. Pink Uniform. Uh, listen. What? We save lives around here. Pink Uniformed up. Pinky and the brain out this bitch. I'm, I'm not about to compete with you hoes. No. Huh. I doubt it. Won't be about it. Cause at the end of the day, this person that you listen, you why why would I sit there and I'm gonna leave it to number one and number two, or number one and number three, whoever the fuck, whichever number one, whatever the ones these other bitches is, them bitches. Cause I'm about to exit my ass up out of this situation. Cause there's three bitches in this situation, okay? There's two already ready to rumble. Dumb dumb number one and dumb dumb number two. And I damn sure ain't about to be dumb, dumb number three for a motherfucker that's a lying, cheating, manipulating, unemotional, uncommitted piece of fucking shit. And you too grown, sir. You old as fuck to be out here acting like that. Get your rat city hoe ass out here. Fuck out of here. Like, that's one of them grown-ass men that want to turn their back on responsibilities as a man because they still want to be out there being a little street city hub. They still want to... They, they, they want to be out there frolicking in the city, having little bitches, having motherfuckers compete and fight over them. Like, how old are you? Ain't you a little bit old for this, sir? Look at your face. You a little bit old for this, sir. You might want to stand in your truth and be an honorable man, an honorable 
old ass man. Because you're damn sure older than me, bitch. For me to be the most mature one. And you turning your back on what? You don't even want to stand in your truth. Street bomb. Hmm. Ten of cups in reverse. There was no emotional fulfillment. And there was not going to be no commitment here as we go. Look. The king of swords. Don't really show you no emotion. They're cold hearted. Okay. Could be verbally abusive as well. At times. But they don't give you their heart. It was never a promise of their heart. So it's like. Ten cups that never got a drop of anything in it. But you see Aphrodite up there? Yeah, that's Aphrodite, baby. That's up there in the universe. I told you, didn't I tell you? You've been up there manifesting. You've been calling in this soulmate. Look, there you go. So, why are you sitting there not worried about these cups that wasn't fulfilled by somebody that you are expecting by right now? Listen, the one that you least expecting is coming to you in the cosmos right now. You've been praying for, guess what? There you go. There you go. You don't see that fountain overflowing? Yeah, it's coming. Ain't that what you was dreaming about? Didn't I say you was dreaming? Is that not a confirmation? I want you to see that more than I want you to see these empty cups down there by fuck, nigga. I want you to see what you've been manifesting, what you deserve. What you say? Oh, I'm coming back for you. That's what you told this motherfucker. Oh, I'm coming back. I am coming back for you. One more card and then we up out of here. Because my Taurus is good. Look, I ain't never seen a brush. Oh. Queen of Swords. The King of Pentacles. Uh, this is a King of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone that wants someone to do the work for them. You see how his chair don't got a scratch on it? Like it's never been used. Like he's never had to rule the domain. This is a motherfucker that turns his back on his responsibilities as a man and let his wife do everything. That's who you pregnant by. That's who you pregnant by. An attention whore. An attention whore. This person is an attention whore. And that's why the fuck you cut that motherfucker out of your life. You had a baby by an attention whore. They have to have multiple people. They have to have multiple people celebrating and raveling around them. Like, oh my god, you're the greatest. You're the, <laughs> you're the dick slayer. <laughs> That's how they build their confidence. They don't believe in themselves. They don't know how to fill no cups. All they know how to do is give dick and impregnate bitches at this moment. Because that's where they're vibrating at. But it looks like you got something way better. Way better. Way better. I want you to focus on this for like three seconds. I want you to focus all your energy on that. Because we don't even see the rest of We don't even see the rest of that shit on that car. Focus your energy on this for a few seconds. Okay, y'all got me? I want you to close your eyes. Now, y'all see that? Y'all see what's, what's going on in the cosmos? I want you to picture in your head when that comes down and touches you, what does it look like? Open your eyes. You ask and it shall be received. I love y'all. As long as you believe and you don't see anything that don't benefit you, anything that don't benefit you, anything that don't make you happy, like I told you, be patient. <laughs> Take care of your baby. Block out that mental confusion and that conflict. It is written and so it shall be done. Peace.